All right, we're now going to work through example one here, which says use recursion to write the first three terms of the sequence. So we've got our initial amount, and then you can see we're timesing it by three and then subtracting five. Do you see here how it says use recursion? We've talked about why that is ever so important. That means we actually show how, we actually have to show our working here. So we're gonna go B of zero is equal to 10. B of one is going to be equal to now I'm going to go three times 10 minus five. Three times 10 is 30 minus five will be 25. Then I'm going to figure out what B2 is. I'm going to go three times 25 minus five. All right, that's going to be 70. And then I'm going to go what B of three is. So I'm going to go three times 70 minus five. That's going to be 205. And that's how we can do it. So just like that, we have answered our first question. We have used recursion. We have shown our working. And as you can see, we've dealt with both components of this recursion relation. Let's move on to the next one now. Okay, let's give it a read. It says, the number of new members who sign up to a weight loss club increases by 3% each year. 40 members leave the club each year. The club's initial membership was 1,100 statewide. The recursion relation that reflects this relationship is what? All right. First things first, we've been given this increase of 3% each year. We could figure out the R value from this. Now, it's great if you can do it by hand doing this, but I also want you to be able to look at this 3% each year. It's growing by 3% each year. It's really important that you can just look at that and be like, oh, it's going to be 1.03. Okay, one, because it's growing and it's increasing by 3%, so 1.03. You can go through the long, laborious way of going, all right, it's going to be one plus three on 100. And that's a formula that we've shown you, but I really just want you to be able to just do that straight away. I think that's very important. What else are we told? We are also told that each year, 40 members leave. So which of these scenarios represent that? Well, let's go through each one. Well, I've got 1,100 as my initial, which is great, but then it has 0 0.97 here. Hmm, what does that mean? This would actually mean I'm decreasing by 3% every year. This would be a decrease of 3%. We want an increase of 3%. So this is no good. So let's cross out A. Let's go to B. Well, this is also wrong because we've got 0 0.97. That's no good. That's decreasing. It's also no good because we're plusing 40 when we don't want to be plusing 40. We want to be minusing 40. We come to this one. This looks good. That looks good because it's increasing by 3% every year and we're subtracting 40. C is my answer. Let's just eliminate the last ones. This one's no good because it's, min it's plusing 40 when we want to reduce it. And this is no good at all because look, what is that telling me? You should be able to look at that and be able to tell me this is actually saying that we're increasing by 40% every year. This is an increase of 40%, which is no good. That is no good. So that is off as well. So C is my answer there. Let's now move on to the very last one here. Let's have a look at it. Let's see what we can do. Let's give it a read. It says, the following recursion relation can be used to model the number of ants in an ant colony after n weeks. So we're starting off with 15,000 ants. We're growing by 7%. And we're also adding on 1,000 ants uh, each week because n is the amount of weeks here. Again, it's really super duper important that you can look at this and just immediately tell me that this is an increase of 7%. Make sure you can do that. If you cannot look at that and recognize that it's an increase of 7%, you need to come speak to me so we can go through it again and again, because that's really important. All right, it says, how many ants were initially in the colony? Well, there are 15,000 ants initially in the colony. 15,000 ants. Is the ant colony growing or decaying? It is definitely growing. And the reason why we know it's definitely growing is because my R is greater than one. And also the D value here. So remember the D value is this here. The D value is also uh, greater than zero. So it's, it's positive. It's a positive D there. We're adding on to it. So it's definitely growing. There's no doubt about that. It says how many, and this is where I'm going to get my calculator out, my calculator, my highlighter out, sorry. How many ants will be present in the colony after five weeks? Give your answer to the nearest whole number. This is where I'd use my recursion relation. So I would say, all right, we've got 15,000 ants. 
there too many zeros? That's good. I then am going to times it by 1.07, and I'm going to add 1,000. Then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I've used my recursion there, and that's going to give me my answer. Always write the unrounded first. That's the safe thing to do. So let me do that. I'm going to say 2,000, uh, what is this? 26,789.0149 dot, dot, dot. Therefore, if I was to round this to the nearest whole, it is going to be 26,789 hands. And just like that, we are done. Hopefully that made a sense.